While the United States officially denied investigating UAPs until 2017, some nations had always been ahead in their approach to the subject. Leading the world in UAP research is the South American country of Chile. In 1997, the Chilean government officially instructed air traffic control and military personnel to create the Committee for the Study of Anomalous Aerial Phenomena. The committee studies all reports of UAP activity by commercial, military, and civilian pilots. One of the most well-publicized was a shocking incident that occurred in 2014, when Chilean naval officers flying along the coast of Santiago captured video of a UAP. There was an incident in 2014 where a military helicopter got video of a strange object. It kind of looked like a rocket with some sort of plume behind it. And they said they were at about 4,500 feet. They have nine minutes of fairly clear video that exists on this. The Chilean military studied it for two years, and they were not able to identify this at all. Chile like many other South American countries, seem to be far more open to the idea that there are objects coming into our airspace. I think one of the reasons why South American countries are more open-minded about the UFO and the extraterrestrial question is because it is part of their cultural heritage. In fact, Peru and Bolivia, they're treasure troves for the ancient astronaut theory. The whole pre-Inca culture and even the Inca culture spoke of these beings of light that descended from the sky. And so these countries essentially grew up with this intrinsic knowledge of someone up in the sky. Brazil has had a history of really dramatic UFO encounters. Chile, I think Uruguay, maybe as well, but the whole world didn't pay much attention to it. In addition to South America, now other parts of the world are also starting to disclose information about UFOs. Governments are openly investigating encounters reported by both civilians and military personnel. But many researchers believe the most noteworthy country to join this international effort is also one of the most skeptical, Japan. In 2018, the Japanese government released an official statement denying the existence of UFOs. For the longest time in Japan, those in charge, those at the top of the defense departments, have denied UFOs, showed a disinterest in UFOs, basically a complete dismissal of the UFO topic completely. The Japanese government made a sudden press release that was said they would not recognize any UFO encounters or extraterrestrial presence on Earth or in the airspace of Japan. I thought this was very strange as we had already interviewed two pilots uh, who had several is incidents and uh, testimonies that they gave us regarding various pilots' encounters in the air and from the ground over the years when they were active in the military. Mamoru Sato, a former wing commander in the Japanese Self-Defense Force, said that he regularly heard stories from other pilots as well as civilians about UAP sightings. Some people said, there's something strange out there. There were a lot of opportunities to see inexplicable things, such as UFOs, that were monitoring the sky and training in the sky. And it was my subjective view that we should make a report and organize these things as correct data. But even when this happened, it was only shared among colleagues and not reported publicly. According to Sato, numerous pilots have reported highly unusual encounters with what they described as cigar-shaped objects. During one such incident, a student in his fighter pilot course even lost control of his craft. He said, the aircraft started going crazy. The alarm rang to indicate that something was wrong with the machine. I saw a cigar-shaped object flying about 1,500 meters high from east to west. The anomaly continued until it disappeared. For years, 
pilots in the Japanese military were instructed to remain silent about such incidents. But in September 2020, Japan's decades-long policy of secrecy and denial came to an end when Defense Minister Taro Kono tasked the Japanese Self-Defense Forces to make a visual recording of any encounter with an unexplained craft. Many believe this very public shift in policy was prompted by a meeting held one month earlier between Minister Kono and his U.S. counterpart, Defense Secretary Mark Esper. The Japanese, after this meeting, uh, gave a press conference. And they said one of the topics that came up was unidentified aerial phenomena. And we talked about the need to cooperate on this. That's a major development, I think, when you have close allies like the US and Japan openly speaking about the UFO issue and agreeing to cooperate. We've come so far in such a short amount of time. The fact that Japan denied that there was UFO activity happening in their country, and now they're establishing the Japanese Space Operations Squadron, says to me that there clearly is something going on over the skies of Japan. Ancient astronaut theorists suggest governments throughout the world are finally beginning to acknowledge that there may be objects in our skies that are not of this Earth.